The Magic Cooking Pot Jenny lived alone with her mother. They were hungry because there was no money to buy food. I will go to look for berries in the forest, said Jenny, but she could not find any. She was wondering what would happen to her and her mother when a little old woman came by. I have been watching you for a long time now, and I know what troubles you have, said the old woman. So I have brought you a gift. From under her cloak, she took out a little black cooking pot. Just put this pot on the fire and say, Boil, little pot, and it will make the most wonderful soup. When you have had enough, just say, Stop, little pot, and it will obey you. Jenny thanked the old woman and raced home to her mother with the little cooking pot. It worked. They had three bowls each of the most delicious tomato soup. Now the little pot made a different soup every day and Jenny and her mother were never hungry. One day Jenny had to go to the market. At lunchtime her mother wanted some soup. So she set the pot on the fire and said, Boil, little pot. Soon she was eating delicious vegetable soup. Now she wanted it to stop, so she said, Thank you, that will do. But the little pot continued to boil. She said, I have had my fill, thank you. The pot boiled on. That's enough, she said crossly. The little pot took no notice and went on cooking until the soup boiled over and covered the floor. Jenny's mother ran out of the house. The soup, which was boiling faster and faster, followed. It followed her down the hill and into the village. People climbed to the top rooms of their houses to escape the river of soup. Others got into boats and started to collect the soup in jugs and saucepans. Up the hill and in the cottage, the little pot was still boiling. Just then, Jenny, who was on her way home, met the soup oozing along the road. She knew immediately what had happened. She climbed up the nearest tree, took a deep breath, and shouted as loud as she could, Stop, little pot! Up the hill in the cottage, the little pot heard the order and stopped boiling. The river of soup flowed out of the village and past the forest where the animals did their best to drink it up. It took the villagers ages to clean their houses. From then on, Jenny took charge of the magic cooking pot and she and her mother were never hungry again. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. In the description area, there are some comprehension questions. If you would like to answer them, you can go ahead and write them in the comment section and I will check them. Also, if you are interested in teaching your child to read at an early age or improving their reading right now, you could also check out the video in the description box. Thank you. Bye-bye.